Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we will learn how to do a lighting ring using area light and uh, spheres. So, if you're interested, please keep watching this video. To start doing that, we will uh, basically doing a ring first and change the uh, orientation, and we will use a grid as our area light. We will control the ring by one radius only. One parameter, we will just uh, copy parameter and paste relative uh, references. Now it's working. If you change this one only, it will affect directly and minimize the deficiencies. Now we want to copy uh, the area light that we have done to each point. Click activate the point and points number and normals. Uh, for the grid, we, we don't uh, need all those uh, points. We just want uh, two rows and two columns. And now we will use the copy two points node we just will copy the area to the ring now we have copied the area geometry but the problem the grids we want all the grids facing the center of the circle that we have to do that we can see here normals like this we want all those normals to look at a point in the center so directly no matter how many grids we have always each uh, area light will look in the center so to do that we will use look at but we will do it with using flex code so we will use attribute uh, angle for using the attribute angle we know we need to make a point here we, i will use uh, pad node and activate point number one thing here i can see the points point zero here you can see the point point zero if you come here and uh, geometry then uh, particles point size you can increase the point size and close it will be bigger now if we come and activate this one it will be like this one now we will use fix code fix this fix function that we will use we will bring it from uh, side effects site here inside uh, Houdini 16 you can go to fix and fix functions you can type points this is the function that we will use point then operation or, or input attribute name and point number Look at is the difference between two points. If if we subtract the position of this point in the, in the origin, this one we call it origin. If we subtract the, the, the position of any point here from origin point, it will give a line. This line is a, a the normal. This normal will not be like this. Will be like this. Each point will look in here. For example, if all those points looking here for, then this this face or this area light directly will face this point. So it's very easy you just type add in equal to at oh, sorry or at uh, at in equal to point it says here input one input two input three but this one id is zero so starting from zero to one to three so here if we want to bring the position for this point it's in the input number one then the attribute that we're calling is position it's capital p then the then comma then the point number it's only one point so it's also starting from zero point counting starting from zero not from one so it will be zero also this is the origin point position now we'll subtract track each other point in the ring from this one so minus at b semicolon it will be like this we will adjust the rotation for the area using transform here so from here from transform i can adjust the rotation if you click here and rotation for example we will use the rotation like this it will rotate inside also uh, i don't only want to have a uh, grid uh, or, or area light i want also sphere i can switch later between uh, area to sphere like that i want to be it to be more dynamics so we will use a sphere and we will use also switch node now for switch node first input is this one c number zero it's, it's taking the area light and this one is number one if you switch here it will directly change to sphere for make it lighting uh, we will use geometry light from here we will use a geometry light click geometry light then select the lighting ring then hit enter now directly it makes it disabled it and it's creating this node it switches lighting so we'll have something like this to see the effect of the light we will need to make a grid or something like a floor And shift this one up let's see three something like that now, if it's black like this one you can click here 
Uh, it, you can see now the guitar. Now this one is completed now. You can switch between sphere and the area light. And you can control the radius from here. And also the quantity of the copy or count of the copy. How many area light we have from divisions. Like this one. Okay, and uh, that's it. And you can shift the whole ring up and down or rotate it. Also, you can from here you can control rotation of area light like this one. Now, each time you you want to edit this ring, you want, you don't want to in, dive inside the node and change the parameter. We want the parameter uh, parameters will be here like this one. So what we will do is go ex first thing is select lighting ring and click on edit parameter interface it will open this window make sure you are an object lighting ring so this geometry if you select this one and you you drop a folder we will uh, name this folder control to control our ring so this is a control if you hit apply you will see here control this is what we have here now first thing in controlling i, I want to control the whole ring transform ring itself of the light the ring first thing ring we, then we will do the light first thing what we want to control about the ring here for example is the radius and form scale first thing ring radius so we will use float if you apply it apply you will find the ring radius now here before this one, I will use label. So what we have to do is we come here, for example, set the radius to 3 or 2 and we come here, copy param parameter and dive inside and here we can just paste relative reference now from here directly you can control the ring radius so the transform of the ring or the whole ring is from here, controlling from here for example the up and down xyz and rotation and scale in each um, each direction and in from scale so we want one two three for example four, four parameters from here so from this one inside this one directly i will come and edit parameter interface for the transform not from the or the lighting ring itself See here, black green transform. So we have here what we have here is uh, is translate and rotate and scale and uniform scale. So we will make translate and rotate and scale and uniform scale. I will click, click right click and copy parameters like this and. Go out and select the lighting ring. Edit parameter also. Inside the control, I want to paste this one inside the control. So select the control icon itself and click, right click then uh, paste parameters. Now you have the parameters. So shift this one up and this one also up. If you hit accept, you will have have those, but it's not working still. So now we will link them. And you can just select it from the name. You don't need to select each field. So from here, right click and copy parameters for the, tra tra for the translate to make it faster we will add new tab here for this one now if we select this one we can click pin so no matter what we select after that it will still hold looked at the uh, will send pin to uh, this lighting ring so we click pin here, then we will dive inside. We will already select the transform. This is the lighting ring, and this transform directly will copy parameter. Now, if everything is working, a final part for the lighting or for the light geometry control. We will add a separator and this label will make it uh, light geometry control. Now, for the lighting geometry control, 
we want to, to be able to switch between area and sphere first thing for the area we want to control the area uh, width and height which, control it, which is represented in the x and y like this one width and uh, height also for the area we want to control the rotation so for area we want to control three parameters and for the sphere only we have the radius so this four parameters we want to do other thing that we want also to control the switch uh, we want to control the switch so we, we can switch between area and sphere and if, if you want to make it if you make something more you can like you can make menu like this one and if you hit area and select area sphere, the sphere radius will disappear or hide and if you select sphere the area width and height and the area rotation all will disappear so to do that quickly we will return to this one and click for the lighting ring edit parameters interface first thing we want the add, uh, menu drop down menu to select switch between area and uh, sphere to use this menu we will use ordered menu so just go, so switch to save, shift this one here and geometry type for example we will name it as geometry type click apply now you have it but you have no interest so to make an entry you will go to menu and here you can type for example this is id and this is the name you have id and name so id for example zero referring to area the second one is number uh, id number one it will be sphere to doing that we just want to copy the parameter of this one paste relative reference the second thing is this uh, uh, light geometric we want to make a geometric count that will depend on the ring division so we want to just copy parameter for this one and it's integer there is no fraction here it's only integer so we will make it integer just make it talk, talk, talk one integer and for parameter we will call it geometry count but from to starting the geometry count here we don't want zero it's minimum will be one so just we will adjust the range of this one you click the geometry count and come here from range and you instead of zero you have you type one and you click this you lock the one and click hit apply so minimum thing you want you can go negative or zero okay now it's working the thing is now we want to edit last thing is edit the area height and width and the area rotation and the sphere radius just last four things one side and the area we have the area uh, height and width and it's, it's float it's not integral it's float type it's float and the, we have the rotation and for rotation for example i want this channel only Now we have done that, just we want to link all those. So we will only use copy parameter and paste relative references, same as what we have done before. When we select sphere, we don't want to see the area width and area height and rotation for the area. All three parameters we, will, we want to hide. So how we will do that? We will go to the uh, geometry type and copy the name. Okay. Then we will go to area width, for example, and height when open brackets. And we will paste this and we will paste and equal this geometry type and equal to height when geometry type equal to sphere. And if you remember, sphere here was you go to order this order menu and go to menu you can see sphere token is one so it's if it equal to one it which mean we chose a sphere here hide all those uh, three if it's equal to zero which mean which mean we select area hide the sphere yes 
So go, going back to area width and just if height when we should equal to one, which means the equal to sphere. If we select the scale, all this it will be the same. Just apply, copy paste all those three parameters, and in this sphere we will make it uh, equal to zero, which means equal to area. Hit apply. We have done finished. Now we if we select the area. You can see area width and height and rotation. We don't care about the sphere when we select the area, and only everything height. Now only the sphere radius. Now to change the color or any anything about the light, you just go to uh, geometry light this this node, and you can then you can change the color for any color that you want. It directly will work. This was Muhammad from my studio, and thank you for watching.